All right, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, we are very proud to be here today at Fairfield Properties Ballpark, home of the Long Island Ducks, on a beautiful day. This is, this is baseball season. We're very excited to be on the field, but uh, we're still uh, very concerned and, and um, very interested in making sure uh, that this ballpark, that this field, the home of the Ducks, is is once again uh, active and we have our players out here and we have the team out here and we have fans in the stands for Long Island Ducks baseball and that's what we're here today uh, to talk about. Uh, this is important for for all of us, it's important for Suffolk County, it's important for Long Island uh, and I think as we emerge from this pandemic it's it, it's important for for all Long Islanders. Um, you know this is a a real uh, sign of hope to to see this to have this ballpark um, reopened and to have the Ducks playing baseball again is something we all need and uh, we're here with uh, a number of colleagues I want to introduce them very quickly of course uh, uh, we want to acknowledge and, and thank uh, the, the man who brought the Long Island Ducks here who made it all possible Frank Bolton Frank thank you very much uh, of course Michael Pfaff the president and general manager of Long Island Ducks is going to be saying a few words uh, in just a moment um, we have with us the supervisor of the town of Islip, who has been a, a great supporter of this team, of this uh, ballpark since the time she was, of course, county legislator uh, back then. So I want to thank her. She's going to be saying a few words in just a moment. Uh, my colleague on the county legislature representing uh, this district, uh, Sam Gonzalez. Uh, and, uh, of course, uh, we have the Suffolk County Health Commissioner. I was about to introduce Cracker Jack first, uh, but I should introduce <laughs> the health commissioner <laughs> before uh, I introduce uh, uh, our special guest, of course, Cracker Jack. And we want to make sure that uh, the, the kids who uh, love him and, and love the experience of being here, including my own kids, have that opportunity this season. Um, and, and that's why we're here. Um, you know, we've gone through one of the most devastating, one of the most challenging years that uh, we've experienced as a community, as a state, as a nation, and quite frankly, around the world. Uh, but we have made incredible progress. And with the warm weather here, with vaccinations continuing to rise, we are emerging from this crisis. And, and we are determined to build back and be stronger and be better than ever before. And that is our uh, goal here. Uh, but we want to give people uh, a sense of normalcy. We want to give people um, things that they can do with their families. And there's nothing better uh, than Long Island Ducks baseball. In terms of family, fun, entertainment, sports, it's all right here. And every season, I love coming here with, with my kids and, and my family, uh, just as tens of thousands of other uh, families across Long Island have, have enjoyed uh, watching the Ducks play here in Fairfield Properties Ballpark. But, of course, because of COVID, last season was lost. Now, the one silver lining there is that the Ducks remain the reigning champions uh, uh, in, the, in the league. Uh, however, however, uh, we want to make sure they're on the field defending that championship uh, this year. And that means uh, that we have to increase the capacity for this ballpark. It is at 20% right now. That is simply unworkable. Um, the, the small, smaller, uh, independent uh, teams, minor league teams, uh, these smaller ballparks, they cannot be compared to major league ballparks. You know, the, 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 the Yankees, if, if they're at 50%, which is what we need here, if they're at 50%, you still have 25,000, 26,000 people uh, going to the stadium. And, and you may say, okay, we don't want that number. You have uh, at 50% 3,000 here. This is an entirely different experience. We have that number going to our beaches. Uh, we had that last summer with people going to the beaches. And what is important and significant here is that this is an outdoor uh, venue. Uh, the, we know and we have known for a long time that the outdoors is completely different from the indoors. It is a much safer environment to be outdoors. And I will tell you that the Ducks, and we had this last season because we really were pushing and had hoped to reopen last season, uh, they have an amazing safety plan in place. 
They have protocols. They worked with one of the leading uh, health organizations, not only in this region, but across the country, country Northwell Health, uh, to create a, a protocol and safety plan uh, that is second to none. So people coming to Fairfield Properties Ballpark here will know uh, that not only are they going to be able to see great Long Island Ducks baseball, have a great time with their families, but they know they'll be in a safe environment as well because of the safety plan that the Ducks have put together. Um, so with all of that, uh, we are urging once again New York State to increase the capacity to 50% give us the chance to have Long Island Ducks baseball. We know we can do this. We know we can do it safely. Uh, the state is increasing capacity and we appreciate that at other stadiums. They just announced today increased capacity at different venues. We need Fairfield Properties Ballpark, the capacity of these outdoor venues, these smaller ballparks to be uh, separated out from these larger venues. Uh, and to have 50% capacity here because we can do it, we can do it safely. And I can say that with such confidence because I can tell you that our health commissioner, Dr. Piggott, has reviewed the safety plan from the Ducks. And because of that, and because of what they've put together, uh, is sending a letter to New York State telling them that our health department, that we are um, uh, not only satisfied with this plan, but we know that at 50% capacity, this can be done correctly and safely, uh, and everyone can have a great time here at the ballpark. So uh, I want to thank Dr. Pickett for that. With that, because I know she has to leave, I want to ask uh, Supervisor Carpenter uh, to say a few words, and then we're going to turn it over to uh, General Manager Mike Pfaff. Uh, Supervisor, thank you. Thank you so much, County Executive Ballone. Uh, your support of this initiative today really, really means a lot, and the fact that uh, Dr. Piggott has weighed in on this and has approved a plan that didn't, didn't come too lightly. There was a lot of thought and work that went into developing a plan because, let's face it, folks, the Ducks would never do anything to jeopardize anybody's safety, let alone the fans that they treasure. This is an incredible venue. Uh, it's amazing to believe it's 22 years, and, and I am so proud. Uh, that I was there in the beginning when we brought the Ducks or Frank brought the Ducks to Long Island and the fact that it landed in the town of Islip certainly gives me an enormous amount of pride and pleasure. But we just asked the governor, it's not easy. It certainly isn't easy given all of the things that go on on a day-to-day -day basis to make these kinds of decisions on what is and is not appropriate to open and to what level. But certainly today I'm taking it as a sign of hope that minor league uh, baseball parks are the next item on the agenda because today he announced that they were increasing the capacity at museums, indoor museums, to 50%. So I would say to the governor, obviously, that you're doing that for indoor museums means that our ballpark is next, that you're going to allow the ballparks to be open at 50% capacity. We are ready to do it and do it safely. And for all of the reasons that the county executive outlined, and they were many, the one thing that I think is so very important, we still want people to be safe. We are still in the throes of this pandemic. So we need to provide venues for families to be together, just as we in the town provided drive-in movies last year and we're continuing them this year. They need something like Ducks Ballpark to come to. So, Governor, we're counting on you. We know you're going to do the right thing. Thank you. Thank you, Supervisor. Supervisor, thank you very much. And I, I want to take a moment also to recognize, uh, I've mentioned, uh, we're standing in Fairfield Properties Ballpark. I want to thank Gary and, and Michael Broxmeyer for uh, their support uh, of the Long Island Ducks and, and, and Suffolk County and, and great baseball being played here on Long Island. So I want to thank both of them and the Fairfield Properties team uh, for what they do for our region as a whole. With that, I want to turn it over to uh, General Manager of Long Island Ducks, Mike Pfaff. Mike? Thank you, County Executive Ballone and Supervisor Carpenter. After 20 years of successful operation, where we have welcomed over 8 million guests, the Long Island Ducks were not permitted to allow fans into our ballpark in 2020 due to COVID. As a result, we experienced a year-over-year -year decline in revenues of over 90%. Ownership, who have always treated their stewardship of the Ducks as a public trust, laid no one off during that time. Instead, the team pivoted to utilize the ballpark for community use, 
first operating COVID safe kids camps so Long Island youth could spend time safely outdoors last summer, then donating use of the ballpark to help the community in New York State during some dark times. We worked with Island Harvest to use the ballpark as a food distribution point for needy community members. We've donated use of the building since the beginning of January to Northwell Health for use as a COVID vaccination center. Thousands of Long Islanders have received their vaccinations here. Now, as we get set to begin our 2021 season in a matter of a few short weeks, we submitted a COVID-19 ballpark operating plan to our local government and health officials from Suffolk County who have joined us here today. This plan is not a theory or something we think we can work. We know it can. Our ownership group operated a team in central Con Connecticut called the New Britain Bees last season. With this same plan in place, we experienced a safe and successful summer. When we presented this plan to Suffolk County officials, we received their support and approval, but have no indication yet from the state that we will be treated reasonably as it relates to testing fans and restrictions on capacity. For an unknown and at this point untold reason, the Ducks Ballpark, an entirely outdoor facility, has a lower capacity allowed and higher testing restrictions in place than other somewhat comparable hospitality venues, some of which are indoor. The town supervisor previously mentioned the increased capacity at museums and zoos today, which are 50% as of April 26th. Movie theaters, indoor movie theaters, will be 33% as of April 26th. The Bethpage Air Show has been given 50% capacity with no testing restrictions. Ultimately, the Ducks, who have provided the cleanest, safest, and most fan-friendly way for Long Islanders to spend their discretionary dollar for 20 years must have 50% capacity to start our season. Our message is simple today. Governor Cuomo and the state of New York, please keep affordable family entertainment alive in New York. Approve our plan and open minor league baseballs, baseball ballparks today. Thank you. I'm gonna have uh, uh, my colleague in the legislature, Sam Gonzalez, say a few words, and then we're gonna uh, uh, end it with uh, the owner of the Ducks uh, and the person again who who made all this possible, Frank Bold. Uh, Legislator. Thank you. Thank you very much for for being here. And uh, as a representative of this district, uh, you know, um, to see this beautiful ballpark for a complete year empty um, was was something really unbelievable to me. And now given the opportunity to come back only at 20 percent um, is something that especially seeing the other locations that are indoor facilities opened at 50 percent um, uh, I just don't understand the reasoning why and I'm here today uh, representing this community and this district uh, to ask the governor to please please allow them to open up at the 50 percent um, you know, the Ducks have done so much for this community. Um, I think it's only right. Um, so once again, uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity. Thank you for uh, our county executive for his leadership. And uh, Mr. Governor, please open it up at 50%. Thank you. Frank? Well, thanks everyone for being here today. and. Thank you, Steve and Angie and Dr. Piggott and Mr. Gonzalez uh, for being here today. And of course, Quacker Jack, uh, who's been kind of lonely. Uh, nobody's come to visit him in quite a while, but we're gonna try to change that now. Uh, it's been said before, but you know, for us, whether there's one fan or there's 5,000 fans in the ballpark and we turn those lights on, PSE&G uh, Long Island expects to get paid and so does National Grid, and so do all our vendors. So we, we do need fans to be in this ballpark for, for many, many different reasons. So once again, on behalf of all of the Long Island Ducks fans, our ownership group, our employees, and all the people here on Long Island, uh, Mr. Cuomo, uh, Governor Cuomo, please let us have 50% to open up this ballpark. And you know we'll be, we, we promise to be good stewards of our plan that we've put in place we know we can execute it, so let's play ball. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you, Frank.